the sculptures were made, I think, around 2002, 2003, uh, and they were unveiled um, soon afterwards. And this was an idea that um, uh, a person uh, in the island uh, who was a teacher, um, and he was, he, he was a wonderful man. He had no connection with farming. Uh, and he went to Peru, and in the middle of the city was this sculpture of some llamas. And it was just at that moment in time he thought, A, it was a lovely piece of artwork, and he thought, gosh, wouldn't it be great to have a sculpture of some cows in our island, in, in a format that everyone could relate to and touch and see. Not something to go and put in a museum, but to have some public cult sculpture. Mm -hmm. And so he came back and he shared that idea with one or two other people and Anne Pershaw was a very uh, prominent person in the breed at the time and she thought this was a wonderful idea and so a committee was formed with some quite senior politicians as well um, and, and this project was uh, a project began and there was um, obviously some fundraising and we found a, um, a sculptor from the UK and he got really passionate so he shared our passion for what we wanted to do and so it was decided to have quite an informal, um, informal um, sculpture. And there was quite a big debate about whether it, this sculpture should be in the countryside, which is where the cow was, or whether there should be a site in our, in our um, main town, St. Helia. And I was very much for having this in St. Helia, so more and more people could see it as a, as a national emblem. And fortunately, that prevailed. And the sculpture is of four animals. Um, there is a cow in the forefront which is standing as a beautiful cow. It was modelled on an island champion cow that belonged to Mrs. Pershaw as it happened. Um, and uh, she was nicknamed Desi. Uh, and she was a lovely cow of her day. And she's the forefront cow. And then behind that is a bull, uh, an, an aged cow, uh, a more traditional cow, and a little calf. Um, and the bull was a bull that I bred um, and he was, I remember that bull vividly, he was a very very big tall long bull, he had, I won um, competitions at shows with him um, and he was a great character of a bull, you know some Jersey bulls get very wicked as they get older and you know you've got to be really careful but this bull as he got older he became more and more friendly even though he was really big. Um, and so he was chosen um, as the bull. And so for many weeks, John McKenna, who was the sculptor, um, came to my farm each day and we'd bring the bull in into a barn and one side was his sculpture and the other side was the bull. He just stood there perfectly, showed himself off <laughs> and John made this sculpture. And uh, I found it a, 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 very, um, a, a very rewarding experience because it wasn't about, uh, you know, this is about art. And John had this passion, he shared our passion. And it was not about copying the bull. Um, it, was about, um, it, it was about trying to get the, um, uh, trying to understand the spirit of the bull and the passion that we have for our animals in the island and getting that into the sculpture. And I thought he did that really well. And at that time in, in England, there was a famous sculptor called Damien Hirst. I don't know if you've heard about Damien Hirst, but he, is, he was a very avant-garde, very modern sculptor. And in one of his exhibitions in London, he had, he had um, uh, the sculpture, the actual sculpture was a cow, a cow that had been gone, been been gone through the, the through the abattoir, and it was literally a slice down the middle. And this, you saw this cow, and that was his artistic um, interpretation of the day. And you know, people debated about all the all the pros and cons of this. And um, but it was an, it was originally a live cow, and, and this was his sculpture. Um, and I, f I I made the point when this was being done that you know we're not we don't want to copy the bull. Otherwise, we'd do a Damien Hurst and mm -hmm. put him down and just chop him in half. <laughs> this was about the spirit of the bull. And whenever I see this bull, this bull in town, I, I, I always get, you know, the, the hairs come up on the back of my neck. Cause he's, and it's got his name uh, underneath his chest and his herd book number. And what's uh, the name of the bull? Rosalind Extraordinary. Um, and his herd book number. So it's there forever and a day. 
and then th he also did the aged cow which was uh, that was a lovely um, a, a lovely um, part of the sculpture as well because the cow the aged cow's not standing in like a, in a show s setting it's it's more informal she's leaning down at a trough there's a little calf beside her but then beside the trough is this little toad and we um, uh, th this toad we, we have a nickname um, in Jersey we are known as crapos which is French for, for, for a toad and in Guernsey their nickname is a donkey <laughs> and we have this rivalry between crapos <laughs> it's a silly little thing but it goes back a long yeah, time yeah. and so crapo is, a, is, is like a nickname for a Jersey man and so someone brought this in fact a lady who was a very well-known breeder of cows she brought a life she caught this toad in our garden and she brought this to John McKenna and he made this 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 little toad and that sits at, just at the bottom beside this trough um, he actually made a hundred of these these toads separately and like like a paperweight that you can have on your desk okay, okay. and they were very very popular they sold yeah. very quickly <laughs> so so sorry I'm, I'm making a long story out of this but I remember it vividly because of the bull um, but it is a piece of public artwork. It was, it, it became something, you know, we raised money for it to, in order to pay the sculptor to do it. But what we created was something that in my view is priceless. For sure. it, it, it's about the cow and, and in the summer we have people, a lot of visitors to the island, they go to this little square in St. Helier and children climb on the cow and they have photographs with the cow. And it, it's just such a powerful element. So this, this man, his name was um, Aidan Smith, this man who went to Peru. Um, unfortunately, he's not alive anymore, but he set out with this, this idea, and it's, 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 it's wonderful. It really is. Thanks a lot. <laughs> really Thank nice you. to talk to you. Thanks. Sorry to... Conversando aqui com o Ander, então... I talked for a long time. No, <laughs> que conhece muito lá a história viva do Gerson. Very good to meet you, and thank you very much for giving me the opportunity.